hello guys welcome to my channel again uh, so guys today i'm going to uh, show you how you can create your custom object detection uh, with a few line of code in matlab you uh, guys uh, let me show you uh, let me start with the database first and uh, thereafter i'll move forward about the script and how you can create your own cust object custom object detection detector this is the data set it is already available in matlab central so uh, but if you don't have access of this data set i have given the link to get the data set in in the comment section of the video guys in this data set i am taking very few images matlab contain already pre trained model for custom object detection and uh, i'm going uh, and i'm going to show you how you would be able to train your model to detect the car rear portion uh, let me test show you which one is the car rear so guys this portion is the car rear portion okay and you can train your model for getting uh, for for custom object detection so uh, let's move forward this these are the images initially we need to annotate the images the image annotation part already available in uh, my workspace so i'm going to show you how these images image portion look like so you you can see here there are three annotation uh, like i'm to talk about the first image image 001 so uh, the annotated portion containing a stop sign the stop sign image is this one second one is car front this portion and the third one in this image are car rear portion which i have shown you initial at the video i am going to going to train this model for detecting the re car rear port portion so these are the annotated images we have very few number of annotation in uh, images in for the car rear like uh, containing only 3 4 5 6 7 8 images so let's uh, let's to move toward the custom object detector you know in matlab you can create your object detector much faster than the other programming platform like in python or using tensorflow because uh, you need to uh, being you need to be skilled in so many things while in matlab they provide everything ready available readily available they have already available our cnn pre trained model here which is containing all the trained weights like let me show you like every image is containing you know these values these are the optimum train weights and we will use transfer learning for object detection and going to use these you know final classification layer while uh, the uh, rcnn object detector is here containing a series network of 15 layer and every layer containing already pre trained weights and really bias you can see here so this these weights are already optimized one so you don't need to train your model from the scratch only it will transfer these weights to detect your custom object detector so first you need to load the data set there after you will load uh, the pre train my model rcnn rcnn okay it this model is already trained for the stop sign detector this one i'm going to transfer this stop sign to car rear detection portion and i'll let me show you the how the what are the class name you you can see here this pre trained model is already designed for its stop sign detector here okay so i'm going to replace this stop sign with the car rear portion after training 
first you will load your data set containing all name of images thereafter you require to load the pre-trained model once model is being loaded you need to give the path where your images is stored my images are stored in car data folder here so I'm going to give add the path on image file name as originally my data mat containing only image name I need to add the path here so that it will and it would be able to annotate the image I'm going to run the first portion where I'm uh, where we will see how the object detector for car rear look like you can see here this image contain a car rear portion and being highlighted this one uh, let me make a marker size bigger so that uh, you can see it let me run this again now you can see highlighted marker portion of car rear let's move toward uh, so uh, while obj uh, you know the dimensions is being overlapped with the uh, required object we have already our uh, insert object annotation in MATLAB where you can see how the text and how it look like things like that so because of built-in functionality of MATLAB it is really easy to train your custom object detector once your pre-trained load is weights pre-trained model is already loaded in your work workspace here RCNN all you need to do just type few line of co code what you want to do like I am taking mini batch size 128 initial learning rate 0 0.0031 one sorry uh, learning rate schedule piecewise drop maximum number of epoch for the model to be trained is 100 okay verbose true means on uh, in between the while the training is going on you can see how the weight is optimizing okay thereafter all you will call train RCN and object detector that's is also a built-in method available in MATLAB and you need to pass first your training data thereafter a weights pre-trained weights I'm using CIFR 10 net this one contain uh, this these are the already trained weights available and optimized okay and uh, for uh, for better performance I'm um, uh, using positive and negative overlapping range so let's train our model okay these are the main line of code uh, first you will define the parameter and then all you need to do train object detector call object detector pass data here a pre-trained weight and run these lines I am actually using uh, 11 GB graphic cards here so the training will will not take more than two or three minutes first it uh, RCN and object detector automatically extract the car rear force uh, car uh, the images which containing the car rear uh, with the help of you know annotations extract extracting reason portional of 41 training images and we have only 10 image uh, 8 images containing the car rear so it automatically extract those images <coughs> Meanwhile, a model is abstracting. Let me show you the main lines of codes again. First, you will write training object, training option, uh, optimizer, batch, mini batch size, learning rate, piecewise, drop factor, uh, like uh, you know, for better optimum uh, tuning, you will always you always use variable learning rate. 
so uh, while the training is going on the learning rate automatically drop okay and drop factor is 0.1 that mean after 100 epoch this learning rate will become 1e minus 4 because it will drop by 0.1 percent 0.1 uh, 10 times okay and the maximum epoch i am using here uh, 100 number of maximum epoch the model can run okay and verbose true so that you will be able to see the training how the training is going on right now the image is extracting for calling the train model okay train rcnn object detector call the give the data containing car front a pre-train weights c510 net available in matlab already and options which we you have de defined here a negative and overlapping range so that the model shouldn't get overfitted toward the training data so here you will see here the model is all model had trained now neural network classifying the training data you can see 41 out of 41 32 invalid bardening boxes containing no car rear so give uh, all the definition the images do not contain the car rear portion then it will start the training with very less number of images the models optimally train by itself in uh, 100 epoch okay base learning rate remain constant because uh, after 100 epoch learning rate will drop automatically while the loss is 0.002 you can see here and network training completed okay and object detection rcnn object detection which i have shown you initial initially the video containing here a stop sign now it containing the car rear portion okay and that this is a type of series network then you can perform the test let me close these images my model is already trained for rcnn and you read up another images uh, another image i am um, read test image the test image okay let me show you first you can read any image and let me show you how this test image will look like this test image is already available in matlab okay not available in training data let me show you this is the test image okay we can use any other images image also containing a small portion of car rear so let's see whether model is able to detect or not and what the output model will generate okay so containing a single score 0 0.9946 a type of feature is car rear category let's see how it look like so i'm going to call insert object detection again and you will see the output so you can see here the final output it able to detect a small even the very slightest car rear with a confidence score of 0 0.99460 guys i hope i uh, you uh, you like this video if you like it and uh, if I am explain you very, if I explain you well, you can actually make a like because it is really important for me. And do share to your friend who is learning MATLAB. This full source code is available on the detail on the sections of current section of the comment section of the video. I am creating a you know let me create a HTML file for you guys so that you will be able you guys can actually read these files again and again and understand it very well so i'm just creating main run file mx less okay and then uh, i will run it again can see the output at the same time
now you can see here training is initialized and finally the car here is being detected okay guys um, I now you can export the entire code in the form of HTML and uh, you will see like this HTML code I you can get I, I will post on the website and link will be provided on the comment section of the video Thank you guys. Thanks for which watching this video. If you if you like it and you want, uh, if you learn something, please do subscribe my channel for getting more and more code and more concept of about deep learning. And uh, do share. And thanks for watching.